Breaking news and speaking of the sports world, O.J. Simpson, we have just learned, has died after a battle with cancer. He was 76 years old. Our Mark Brown takes a look back at his life. O.J. Simpson, famous for his athleticism as a football player and personality as an entertainer and infamous for the crimes he was accused of committing. Born Orenthal James Simpson in San Francisco, July 9, 1947. Simpson gained national attention as a running back at the University of Southern California, winning the Heisman Trophy his senior year. Well, our strong point, I think, is just team attitude, I would say. Uh, the guys don't want to lose. We feel we can beat anybody, you know, anytime. Simpson was the number one pick in the 1969 NFL Draft, selected by the Buffalo Bills. He won MVP in 1973 after becoming the first NFL player to run for 2,000 yards in a season. Simpson played 11 years in the NFL, nine with Buffalo, the final two with his hometown San Francisco 49ers. He went into the Hall of Fame in 1985. It really, really is secondary uh, if you win or lose. It's, it's how you play the game in life and on the field that really matters. Simpson's popularity on the football field translated into a successful acting career with such movies as The Towering Inferno, Capricorn One, and The Naked Gun Trilogy. He showed off his running ability in commercials for Hertz rental cars. He was also a sports broadcaster. Yeah, it's a good feeling. I always wanted to play with this guy, and now I'm on a team that is a pretty exclusive team at that. O.J. Simpson married his first wife, Marguerite Whitley, in 1967. They had three children together. The couple divorced in 1979. In 1985, Simpson married Nicole Brown. They had two children together. In 1989, Simpson pleaded no contest to spousal abuse. The couple divorced in 1992. It was on June 12, 1994, that Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman were found stabbed and slashed to death outside her Brentwood home. After gathering evidence, police issued an arrest warrant for O.J. Simpson. He was expected to turn himself in, but instead became the subject of the now infamous low-speed pursuit. He was the passenger in a white Ford Bronco driven by former teammate Al Cowlings in a two-hour chase. After leaving attorney Robert Kardashian's Encino home, Cowlings and Simpson drove into Orange County, the chase ending at Simpson's Brentwood home on Rockingham Avenue, where Simpson eventually surrendered. The next year, O.J. Simpson was tried for the murders of Brown and Goldman in what was called the trial of the century. Simpson's dream team of attorneys included Johnny Cochran, who aimed to convince the jury that a bloody glove found at the crime scene did not belong to O.J. Simpson. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. After a nearly nine-month trial and less than four hours of deliberations, the jury reached a verdict in October of 1995. Judge Lance Ito had the jury wait a day to allow attorneys who had left town to return. The LAPD went into full tactical alert, setting up barricades outside the criminal courts building. And the next day, the jury came back with not guilty verdicts for Simpson. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant or the Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony upon Nicole Brown Simpson. For Simpson's team, relief. While the families of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman were in disbelief, and Simpson supporters in the crowd outside the courtroom let out a cheer. O.J. Simpson returned to hugs at his Brentwood home. However, a 1997 civil trial found Simpson liable for the wrongful deaths of Brown and Goldman, and he was ordered to pay $33.5 million in damages. In September of 2007, Simpson was arrested for armed robbery in Las Vegas. Simpson led a group of men into a room at the Palace Station Hotel Casino to recover sports memorabilia he said had been stolen from him. You know, I wasn't there to hurt anybody. I just wanted my personal things, and I realized I was stupid of me. In October 2008, O.J. Simpson was found guilty. Verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, as follows. Count one, conspiracy to commit a crime. Guilty. Simpson was sentenced to 33 years in prison. He served nearly nine years in Lovelock Correctional Center in Nevada before being released on parole in October of 2017. It was in June 2019 that Simpson returned to the public eye, this time on social media. Mark Brown, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Again, that news just breaking. O.J. Simpson dead at 76 years old. We will have continuing coverage on this story throughout the day right here on Eyewitness News.